In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install this Nexus Raven model on Windows. Nexus Raven is an open source and commercially viable function calling large language model that has already surpassed the current state of the art approaches in function calling capabilities. This open source Nexus Raven 2 is a 13 billion LLM outperforming GPT-4 in zero shot function calling the capability to turn natural language instructions into executable code to use tools. The function calling capability lies at the core of the OpenAI Assistant API and serves as a key to enabling co-pilots and agents to use software tools. With the goal of advancing open source model for co-pilots and agents, Nexus Raven 2 marks an exciting step in collaboration with the community to expand the open model ecosystem for technological and social impacts. The salient features of this Nexus Raven 2 include state-of-the-art and generalizable capability, as I already mentioned, the function calling thing. Also, it is open source and commercially permissive, so you can use it for both community developers and enterprises because it has been exclusively sourced from open code corpora without using proprietary LLMs. It has ease of integration because the company behind this has also released open source utility artifacts that enable users to seamlessly replace mainstream proprietary function calling APIs with Nexus Raven 2 in their software workflow. And there are various demos and collab notebooks. They have put it on their GitHub page, which I'll drop the link in video's description. Okay, so let's get started. This is um, the Nexus Ravens demo page, which I will show you shortly, but let's get the installation done. For the installation, I'm going to use the quantized version for Bloke. So thanks to Bloke for producing this. And the tool which I'm going to use is my trusted LM Studio. If you haven't used LM Studio before, then I would highly suggest that you watch one of my videos and I'll drop the link in video description to see what LM Studio is and how to get it installed on Windows. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to this homepage on top left and then type here Nexus Raven, press enter. We are after this V2 because you can see it was just released seven days ago. Click here and then just download any of these quantized versions. The higher quantization you would select, the better the quality will be. I already have selected this one. And if you click on this folder icon on the left, you can see that it has already been installed. The size is around under six gig. So make sure you have that much space. Now, in order to use this model, click on these three dots. Just dismiss it and then in the middle, select the model to load. And this is where if you have less RAM, less CPU, it will crash here. But if your RAM or CPU is fine, then you should be good to go. So let's wait for it to, uh, to load here. And you can see model has been downloaded and on the top left, you can see your memory consumption. So you can see that the model has been downloaded. Let's make it uh, drag this down a bit so that we can chat with it. Now let's ask it a few of the questions about proximity. So what I'm going to do is I'm just asking it, can you list me coffee shops that are open until 9 p.m.? I need the place to be within five kilometers from Parramatta, Sydney, Australia. So let's see. It is processing it. Let's wait for it to come back. And there are various parameters which you can set on the right hand side and there is more to this LM studio. So there you go, you can see that it has gone in and it is pulling out the coffee shops near parameter. And I believe that is actually quite correct. This is amazing, really, really good. And then it is going on and on and on. Okay, let's wait for it to come back. And you can always stop generating here. Let's click on stop generating, it has stopped. Okay, let me ask it one more question. I'll just ask this, get me, get me 
any food now please so i'm hoping that it would understand that i'm asking it that where could i get the food i just want to know if it is able to detect my location if it does that would be really scary <laughs> okay it is just giving me the generic answers which is okay that is fine okay so thankfully it hasn't been able to detect my location okay this is good okay let's ask it one of the opinion questions i'm going to ask it um what people are saying about uh maybe there is another thing penrith beach so penrith is um a city within the sydney city a council and it has a river where they have just created an artificial beach which is just generating quite a lot of interesting feedback from people so let's see if it is able to detect it it's a quite a recent scenario you can look at that answer i mean it has actually gone in and pulled up the reviews from trip advisor and then it is just uh, telling me those reviews which is quite nice i would say but i think maybe the source is just trip advisor which is quite cool um so now so this is how you can install and use it and if you want to try out a pre made uh demo so as i mentioned earlier this is a demo from their website you can select and i'll drop the link in video description so for example <clears throat> just click on this example uh, i'll just go with the uh, deep inside on the very right so this is what they're asking can you please compare the reviews for ramen and all this stuff so i'm just going to click here we should i click okay so it's already gone in okay and then it has generated here and okay so because in lm studio there is no option of maps but in this one it has even gone in and then it creates a map and gives us a chat summary and that sort of stuff very nice and then there are a lot of other examples gather opinion compare feedback as you can see here and then you can select with it and plus proximity searches this is what we just did in our local installation too so pretty cool i would say very uh, interesting project and i'm sure that this will be evolving more as the time goes on so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you're already using it let me know your thoughts and if you can think of any use case uh, very happy to discuss about it and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel Thank you very much.